Welcome to Not Sorry Love Lori. My name is Lori and today we're going to talk about why it took me three years to get into grad school. I did an undergraduate degree in psychology and I decided that before going into graduate school I wanted to do a year of work and apply for the following year. So I did have a job. I was working at a hospital working with patients who had bowel disease and doing some research in that area. It was pretty cool. I got to draw blood which used to make me faint, but then I got better at it. Collecting biopsies from people's colons while people were having colonoscopies, I'd be in the room, like not doing the scope, but like I, the, the doctor would go get the pieces and I'd be like, thank you. Anyway, so I did that for a year and I decided I wanted to study clinical psychology and become a clinical psychologist. So I applied to this program that I was really dead set on and I got an interview. And so you get an interview with the, the professor or the researcher that you want to work with and they decide who they choose. So it was down to me and someone else and I didn't get it. So that was my first year of applying. I didn't get it and I was like, ah. But I figured, you know what? Let's give it another shot. We'll try next year. So I kept working at the hospital doing more research and all that fun stuff. So I reapplied. I'm going through the waiting period to find out if I get an interview. Time goes by. I'm at work. I decide to randomly check my spam box in my email. Check your spam box, okay? Because my acceptance for an interview was in my goddamn spam box, okay? And it was from like two weeks ago and I saw it and I basically like pooped my pants in fear and just panicked and I was emailing back and I was like, please call me. I ended up um, connecting with the researcher and they were like, I just thought that you weren't interested and that's why you didn't get back to me. And I was like, no, I'm definitely interested. And they had already actually made their decision at that point. And so it was too late for me. And that was my one shot that I had applied for and went to my spam. Felt like a movie, to be honest. It didn't feel like real life. So I went back to work and I'm, I'm crying and I'm like collecting biopsies. Someone's having a colonoscopy and I'm there and I'm like, people there like the staff that I worked with they were all just like what are you what's wrong and I told them and they were like oh that's too bad and I was just like what do I do with my life and it's like I really wanted to go to grad school I was I was kind of tired of you know the, the work I wanted to get back into school and I got the interview and then it was gone I questioned my life at that point I was like what what am I gonna do with my life how do I live knowing that that is what happened to me and that that could have been my shot. So basically I spent some time and I did a little bit of research looking into other programs that may have been of interest to me because to be honest, the whole idea of being like Dr. Lori Blank, that sounded nice, it was prestigious, I knew I could do it. But a lot of it was just the fact that I could say that I was a doctor of some kind or have these initials with my name. Anyways, I came across occupational therapy, which is an amazing, amazing field. I applied and I got in the following year. Third time's the charm. Anyways, that's my story. If you guys are interested in watching me stream, I go live almost every day of the week between like 12 and 4 p.m. Uh, Toronto, which is Eastern Daylight Time. Follow me, it's not sorry, love Lori. And um, follow me on Instagram. You can subscribe here, hit the like button, hit the notification button so you get notified when I update next. And I will talk to you guys soon.